I think if there's anything that we've all got in common, it's that we all love to get outside into the outdoors, get outside <laughs> into the outdoors. <laughs> but we love to experience that peace and that serenity of just being out into the back country and just what it has to offer for all of us. And then I think some of us just love the gear, right? I love the gear. Um, and I think that there's really two areas of gear that we look at. One is the gear that we wear on our back, in our backpack and our backpack itself. But there's one area of gear that I think a lot of us neglect more than anything else, and it's what we're wearing. And in today's video, we're gonna talk exactly about that. See, I found a layering system that I think is a top-notch, one of the best on the market, if not the best on the market, and it's by a company called Outdoor Vitals. Outdoor Vitals reached out to me last November and they sent me a pair of prototype pants. Um, I got them in the mail and like a lot of gear that I get in the mail, it just kind of sat on a shelf and I really didn't think much of it um, until I actually decided one day, you know what, let me just try these on. And I tried them on and my first thought was that they are a very athletic fit and I don't normally wear athletic fit, but then I went and showed them to my wife. My wife was like, ooh baby, you look so good in those pants. And I was like, oh, well. You know, but my wife liked the pants, which tells me that outdoor pants can actually look good. So as we begin to talk about layering and backpack and clothing, one thing you will not see in this video is me modeling any clothes. <laughs> so fear not, I will not be the fashion model, I promise you. I'll throw in some B-roll, uh, a recent trip of me wearing this stuff so you can see kind of what it looks like, but <laughs> I am not gonna stand up in this room and wear this stuff for you guys and try it on. You do not wanna see that, I promise. I will save you the torture. <laughs> We're gonna talk about underwear. These are the Outdoor Vital underwear um, and the reason I wanted to talk about these is because it's part of an important layering system, right? You gotta, <laughs> it, don't go commando. Just don't do it. <laughs> it's not a good idea. You don't want to go into the backcountry commando. Chafing is not your friend. Uh, a good pair of underwear, seriously, will make the difference between a good trip and an epic fail of a trip. If you start to chafe, it's terrible. Um, I have chosen good underwear over the years uh, because of choosing good underwear. I've never chafed out in the backcountry. Underwear for me has to hit some tick marks. <laughs> Don't put ticks in your underwear. <laughs> underwear for me has to hit a few specifications. One, it has to be long enough that it goes down on my thigh that while I'm hiking, it doesn't ride up and get balled up to where it's really uncomfortable and I'm constantly trying to like adjust it through my pants and I'm sure you probably know what I'm talking about if you've been there. And two, it really can't be any type of cotton. It's gotta be something that's gonna wick the moisture away from my body and it's gotta dry quickly because underwear, underpants is not gonna dry as other stuff that you're wearing because, well, it's covered up and that moisture is gonna get contained. This company has developed a very unique fabric um, on the inside it's actually a merino wool. If you don't know much about merino wool, it's a natural fabric, but it is moisture wicking and it has properties inside of it that um, are antibacterial, which means that it doesn't smell bad. So you can literally wear something like this for days at a time and it's gonna resist odor, which is always a good thing if you're hiking with other people or if you're in your tent by yourself, you know what I'm talking about? And on the outside, it's got a polyester material that's almost like uh, got holes in it. I don't know if you can see that. Like a jersey material. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna take the wicking of the moisture from the merino wool that reduces odor. That's gonna put it onto this polyester that's going to evaporate what they claim four times faster than other materials, which uh, is a huge feat and a huge claim um, out in the backcountry when you're trying to dry out quickly if you've had to you know, experience uh, inclement weather or maybe you had to cross a river or stream or you're sweating a lot. But getting that moisture off your body is always a good thing, especially if it's quick. In the cooler months, they offer a thermal underwear made out of the exact same fabric, which is really cool. And what's unique about these though is that they have a zip off that completely zips off both legs. 
So you can literally zip this into one big piece of open fabric. Why would you ever want something like that that zips open like that? Well, it's for people that are maybe crossing a river or they're just wet in general and they wanna get these off without having to take off boots or maybe they're trying to regulate temperature quickly and they don't wanna to have to pull off their shoes and that kind of thing so it's just a lot quicker. So these will unzip, come off, you can stick them in your pack and then putting them back on, you can do the same thing. You don't have to take your shoes off. So just a unique feature that I thought was really, really cool. Uh, oh, one more base layer. Um, is this hoodie which is made out of the exact same material it's got the merino wool on the inside and it has the polyester on the outside that jersey material this is the type of material that i would wear in the summer or the winter because it was definitely uh warm during the day in some spots where this actually kept me cool from the sun beating on me i do not want to get sunburned while i'm out there and then i want that quarter zip zip here where i don't have to take the whole thing off i can just kind of unzip it a little bit and vent heat i prefer that more than anything for like a base layer and i do like the fact that i can get a hood on here so that if it does get windy or cold or anything like that or the sun is bothering my neck i can flip this up quickly and have some sort of sun protection and uh, keep me a little bit warmer um, while I'm just wearing the base layer. These are the outdoor vitals. Satu, 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 S A T U. <laughs> adventure pants these pants needed to look good and they do look good these actually look good enough to wear pretty much anywhere um, you could almost wear these business casual for you pocket guys it does have pockets um, it's got a really nice zipper cargo pocket on one pant leg i like the idea of just having one cargo pocket um, because i think it helps to keep gear at home when you have less places to keep gear and this doesn't look like some nerdy dad cargo pants, cargo pocket, khaki looking thing. This is a really sleek design where the zipper is put right into the side of the pant leg. I also think it's cool that they went without zippers on the back pockets here, if you could see that. This is just sort of a fold over flap, which I'm glad they have a fold over flap because that keeps things from you know popping out of your pockets when you don't want them to pop out of your pockets. Also, the material that these pants are made out of is a very interesting fabric, something that I've never experienced before on any type of pants. It almost feels like a pair of pajamas, like when you're wearing them. It doesn't look like a pair of pajamas by any means, but it almost feels as soft as like your fleece pajamas. So I wore these to sleep for two nights and they were wonderful. They were super comfortable. But this is a Japanese mechanical fabric according to Outdoor Vitals. What's interesting about these is that it still stretches and it really stretches. Like if you can see the bottom of the pant leg here, how that stretches, there's no spandex in here, which is also interesting because a lot of stretchy pants out there, a lot of stretchy pants, <laughs> have spandex in them. The problem with spandex is one, it doesn't evaporate very easily. And two, spandex, if you've ever wore spandex before, it can stink really bad. This has no spandex in you. So when this pulls the moisture away from you, it's not gonna smell and it's gonna evaporate much quicker. I also thought they did a really good job of making sure that everything was double stitched. Uh, the only place that I noticed it wasn't double stitched is right here at the bottom. There's a hem here, if you can see that, there's just one stitch going across the bottom, which really is not a big deal at all. Speaking of the hem and the bottom of the pants here, I thought this was a really cool feature. There's a pull tab right here on the inside of the pants where you can tighten this up, say you're crossing water and you know you wanna put these over your boots or for whatever reason, you can tighten these up and it can bring even more of that um, elastic-y feel to the bottom of your pant leg and tighten up around your pants for whatever you need it to do. They obviously have uh, belt loops here. You can see the belt loops, but they also included a sort of like a just a tightening system right here in case you don't want to wear a belt and all you do is pull on this tightens them up uh, lift this right here loosens them up on the side here they have a hidden zipper uh, that opens up to vent the pants so all you do unzip this and there's literally a mesh material there it's dark enough that you're not going to see through it but it vents and this is a good probably 10 inches of ventilating right here. So, and it's wide. So this is really nice in the summertime. If you are getting hot, you can just unzip this and it will solve that problem where you're starting to get uh, too hot. And it 
sort of meets the people who want convertible pants and those who think that convertible pants are the ugliest, nerdiest things out there. So if you guys wanna check out the Outdoor Vitals, their whole line of clothing. I will put a link in the description below where you can find all this stuff and you can check out their pricing. I don't even wanna talk about their pricing because right now a lot of this stuff is up on their Indiegogo site, which is sort of like a Kickstarter site and the prices are, you know, they're different early bird prices. So I won't even get into pricing, but they are reasonably priced. So I'll make sure I put all that information in the description below. Make sure you guys check that out. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe for more. Hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released and I will see you on the next one.